What's going on guys? Moose78 back at you with another episode of Stories from the Road. We are on episode number 8 now. Hope everyone's doing well today, by the way. And just real quick, what the series is. It's my Let's Play series. Uh, we could, And I just throw in some random topics. We could talk anything about uh, truck sim discussion. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about real trucking every once in a while. We'll talk some PC gaming, PC hardware... Just kind of whatever I find interesting at the time that I sit down and record the series. Last week, we talked a little bit about some wish list, got into some specifics that we'd like to see in the game, and some future updates, possibly. And please feel free to join in the discussion by leaving a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Hello, California! And we'll kind of pick up the discussion uh, and kind of continue that again this week. We'll kind of spread it out over the next couple weeks if we got enough to talk about. But a couple more things I'd like to see in the game uh, as far as wish list stuff goes. Is this one, I highly doubt we would ever see it, but throw it out there anyway because I think it'd make for some good discussion and that is an old school like 1970s style of truck pack I'm talking like some old school 352s, some 359s Kenworth K100s, Kenworth W900As some old school Freightliner cab overs, old school Freightliner classic conventional I think that would just be badass if SES were to do that and release that as a DLC. Shoot, I'd even pay for something like that. And this guy has a death wish. Yeah, they're like, nope, nope. It's not going to do that going up a hill. But I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that they really didn't have any interest, it seemed like, in doing uh, any kind of old trucks or anything like that. Everything was going to be, you know, fairly modern. Oh, he wants it now. It would just be so cool to have those old school iconic trucks in the game. I know a lot of community members have a uh, scratch made their own variants of those trucks, but it would just be cool to see SES release a you know DLC pack for that. And I'd even be willing you know to pay for it. You know they recently came out with the Ultimate Wheel Customization DLC, which is like three bucks. So if they were to charge five ten bucks for something like that, I'd shoot, I'd probably buy it. But like I said, that that's pretty, you know, pie in the sky wishing. Most likely, you know, I'm almost positive that would never happen. But we can dream. We can dream. It's like going down a roller coaster. This is the stuff I like to see more of in the game. Been on this road a couple times, but I've never been coming down it. That's pretty cool. I don't know one thing that the community would really love to see, and I've you know talked to a couple people about this, and I've seen 
various different discussions about it, and that's multiple hitch points on trailers. And what that would do would allow you to be able to pull, you know, double trailers, you know, double pup trailers, or as some people like to call them wiggle wagons. That would be pretty freaking legit if SES were able to do that. I'm not sure what kind of limitations there are, but I'm pretty sure if they're able to get it in the game and have it be functional, the community could probably figure the rest out. Engage clutch, noob. But it would just be cool to pull the multiple, you know, like I said, the double pup trailers. Also would allow people to put a lot of different kinds of heavy haul equipment in. So I know a couple people that already have some pretty big ideas planned if that were ever to come to fruition. It would just add a lot more depth and realism to the game for sure. And I think this is one SES is working on. This might actually come to us down the road. I've not heard a whole lot on it lately, but I have heard it is something they want to do. And there is a mod out for it that I still need to mess around with and see if I can't get that to work. But that's trailer ownership. That was one of the cool features about Holland was, you know, you could, you know, play the game as a full-on owner-operator. You had your own track. You had your own truck. You had your own trailer. And then you just went around places, you know, delivering loads, picking up loads, so on and so forth instead of, you know, delivering one load to a place and then either, you know, have the deadhead or bobtail to another location to pick up another load or pick up a load at the place you just delivered to and be pulling different trailers all the time. Be really cool to have trailer ownership in the game, though. That way, a lot of people could mod their own trailer to their liking and just buy the trailer like they do the truck completely missed my gears there. But I didn't kill it. Like I said, progress, kids. Progress. Cut me some slack. But no, like I was saying, it'd be cool. You know, you could just mod your own trailer. What the hell is this guy doing? Floating Wheels Peterbell. No wheels floating around trying to pass me. Eh, 
and yeah, of course he gets tired as soon as I pass the rest area. Well, looks like there might be a place to stop not too far up here in Bakersfield. See if I can't sneak over here to the peat dealer and take a break. Let's see, is this a spot that I want over here? Kind of looks like it. What the hell? Wanna go so slow that I killed it or something? Check the map here. Hmm. Maybe there's not a rest stop here or a place where I can take the 10 hour break. Just mark that. what I'm trying to do. But yeah, that's just some of the stuff, going back to the wish list stuff, that's just some of the stuff that I'd like to see him kind of implement into the game. Like I said, some of that stuff's kind of pie in the sky, we'll, we'll probably never see it. But feel free to leave a comment down below if there's some stuff that I did not mention that you guys would like to see in the game. 
love to hear what you guys have to say on the matter. Yeah, so far I'm really digging this uh, map mob from uh, Heavy Alex. This is pretty cool. Changes it up a little bit, spices it up a little bit. Peterbilts. Peterbilts everywhere. this must be right there at the garage I'm gonna go down this one though looks like there's one down here at this McDonald's on the left hand side of the road. Yeah, it's on the left hand side of the road. Hmm hmm hmm. Didn't kill it, didn't run the red light. I just might get the hang of this yet. Motello. And I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to park the opposite way of these guys. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you like today's video, go ahead and like and share it. It just helps me out a bunch. If you're new to the channel, take a look around. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. Be sure to check in next Tuesday for episode number nine of Stories from the Road. Till the next one, guys, take care. We'll be seeing you. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the icon on the outro pic. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click on the no-scope icon for my affiliate link. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.